Hey guys, Joshua Otto here, here to go over your monthly market report here in Naples, Florida. I know it's been a couple of months, uh, had a lot happen recently, uh, had a new baby and uh, had a lot of deals closing and I just ran out of time between everything else to be able to do this. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add an extra month to uh, this monthly market report so we can kind of see what has happened uh, since last time I did one of these. All right, so we're gonna be going over May, April and March and also we're gonna go back a year to May, 2023. We're gonna be going over the median sales price, days on market, how many sales we had, the months of supply, and we're gonna look at what happened in the last seven days as well to see what the current market looks like. All right, so $650,000 median sales price in May, April, and March. So it is flatlined for the last three months, all right? It has not changed at all. Uh, last year in May, it was 600,000, all right? So it's gone up $50,000 since then. Days on market, we had 42 days, our median days on market in May, 39 in April, 43 in March, and 28 a year ago, all right? So it's kind of staying near that 40 day median days on market, um, not really changing much from there. Number of sales, so we had 924 sales in May, 1,117 sales in April and 905 in March. And last year we had 1,033. All right, so a little bit less than last year, a little bit less than the month before. Uh, as we as summer months go on, we're gonna see this number go down. Uh, we just got out of our hottest closing season. All right, so February, March, April, May are our best months to close. And then after that, it kind of trickles down back until season comes back. All right, months of supply, so we had 7.1 months of supply in May, 7.4 in April, 7.6 in March, and four months last year in May. All right, so for those of you who don't know what months of supply means, it simply means that if no more homes hit the market, it would take that long to run out of homes currently with how much inventory we have and how many sales we're getting. So 7.1 months, that is a buyer's market, guys. It's, um, you know, after it gets to six months of supply, that's considered an even market. Anything below that six months is a seller's market. Anything above that six months is a buyer's market. Okay, so we are at a buyer's market right now. It did go down a little bit from April. I do expect that this number is going to go up as the summer goes on. I think by the end of summer, we'll probably be in an eight month supply. All right, that's just my prediction. We'll see how it goes in the near future. So the last seven days we had 906 new listings hit the market, 718 closed homes, and 676 homes go under contract in the last seven days. All right, now that being said, you know, with this, I'm thinking this inventory is definitely gonna be going up in the near future. All right, it's gonna go up incrementally. It's not gonna just explode. I don't see that happening, but I really do think by the end of summertime, maybe even going into the winter months, it's gonna hit that eight month supply. All right, that's just my prediction. We'll see how it goes. So thanks guys, that's my monthly marker report. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you have any questions, just let me know. Give me a call, give me a shout. You can comment on the video, send me an email, shoot me a text. Uh, and that's it guys, you guys have a great weekend, take care.